What's up guys? How is it going? Bringing you guys a game of conquest on the beautiful Caspian border using the medic kit with the AN94 this game right here. Start off just come cap the A flag until we get fucked up by the havoc which um uh, he gets he gets his though. Uh, but uh <laughs> that's why I don't really like starting off in the uh, light vehicles. And the game first starts because you're easy pickings for the choppers and, and whatnot. So I spawn bike in and just hop in a tank. And uh, for the first part of this game, actually, I, I will be in this tank because this is actually a pretty close game. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And this game actually lasted uh, quite a bit, like 20 minutes, something like that. So I got it edited down a little bit, but uh, on a def Full ticket server for this map that lasts and it lasts 20 minutes. You know it's a close game, so yeah, just doing a little bit of uh, tank battle in here on the Caspian border, and I decided to roll with the medic kit this game because for us premium players, they added new assignments, and I gotta do some stuff with the medic, and I'm not really feeling the new assignments. Some of them are kind of silly if you're unaware. Cause I don't think they show up on Battle Log yet. They show up in the game, but they're like, you gotta do things with each kit. It, all it does, for those of you who do not know, is it gives us camos for uh, the Scar H, the F2000, the PKP, and the L96. And it just gives us extra camos for those weapons. And then once you complete those, there's an assignment. And then you get camos for your actual soldier, but, uh,. I was kind of going for them like the first day that 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 that, uh, that that came out, which was this day I was playing. And then since then, I've kind of just stopped. I don't really care about weapon camos and, and whatnot. I just completed all the other assignments and, you know, got everything. I basically have everything in the game unlocked except for attachments. And I don't know. I'm kind of tired of just going for shit. <laughs> and I just want to play the game for more fun and whatnot so that's I kind of just gave up on all that and right here in the tank with this random dude and luckily for me he had a proximity scan on so that's why I was uh, sitting in this tank because this game actually ends up being uh, we're actually end up being down for a majority of this game so usually when that happens what I do is I tank whore because tank horn good tank horn wins games uh, I can't tell you how many games I've won just alone just by getting in the tank because we needed it <laughs> right here just fucking around uh, I, I usually always drive off that cliff right there in the tank from uh, from C to B usually works out a lot smoother than that I flipped the tank a couple times but uh, it usually doesn't happen surprisingly but yeah anyways this is actually a pretty close game and I, I think you guys will enjoy it because uh, you know like I said I'm gonna start or try to post more of the closer games that I get and whatnot, and also uh, maps like this, Caspian Border and, and stuff. I got another Karg Island one. Uh, not too many people post gameplays on these maps, especially for Conquest on console, because you know the action can be dead. You know, I like this is. A, I ain't gonna spoil how many kills I get, but I get a, a, quite a few. And you know, it, it can be done <laughs> on console, but it. it it is a little far and few between, you know, sometimes these uh, maps can be quite the boring to play on, you know, you only get 10, 15 kills or something like that, which is about a kill per minute, and um, which is usually standard for, like, these maps, but I prefer playing on these maps than, say, the smaller maps like Scene Crossing, Grand Bazaar, stuff like that with more a lot more action. Um, I don't know, I'd rather be bored than frustrated. And, uh, like, for instance, this map right here, I've probably only got pissed off playing this map, like, literally a, a handful of times, very small amount of times, but, like, playing Operation Metro, which I rarely play, I get pissed off on that map all the time. Even when I'm doing outstandingly good, I will just, I just get frustrated playing that map. I don't know, it could be bad memories from the beta, but the small maps just... That can they can be frustrating. Even when I do really good, like I could go, well, like in that close quarters gameplay I posted the other day, I went 60 and five, and every five of those deaths I got pissed off. Trust me on that one. So yeah, that's something I'm working on. I do get a little pissed off, but one thing that helps is smoking 
the Mary Janes keeps uh it puts things in perspective like this is just a game and I shouldn't be getting so pissed off for people killing me in it. Especially when my friends tell me that you know I should think about uh what I do to the players I'm playing against and how pissed off I must get some of these guys sometimes. So you know you take the good with the bad, I guess, but um because I would imagine I have frustrated quite a bit of people while playing this game, but uh, surprisingly enough, I don't get angry hate mail, which is very strange. Uh, Matt gets hate mail every once in a while and, and everything. I, I don't really get hate mail that much, but uh, except for one time where I got like 30 messages by like 20 people because I guess I raped a party at 8 and they did not like that, but anyways... Back to the gameplay here, like I said, when you're uh, when the game's kind of cutting it close like this, when the other team's fighting, it's really good to get into a tank and uh, learn how to use it properly, because a tank can uh, can really win the game for you, especially if the other team is uh, stepping up, capping flags and all that, and using their vehicles. Um, if the other team is like real, real vehicle heavy with their tanks, your best bet actually is to try to steal one of their tanks. And like for instance on this map, they will spawn at uh, D or A, one of their tanks. And uh, if you don't know how it works, basically when, the, when this starts out, on this map in particular, you get two tanks in each deployment. Well, when say like I'm on the American side right now. When I go to capture the A flag, one of those tanks from the deployment will actually end up spawning at the A flag instead of in the deployment. And they'll continue doing that as long as you hold the A flag. Um, and when you lose the A flag, they'll spawn back in your deployment, both of them, instead of just the one. So a good thing to do is if you're uh, struggling in the game, especially on this map right here, is try to go to their flag that they're holding. Like, for instance, if it was happening to me here, it would be smart for me to go to D and try to jack their tank when it spawns. And uh, stealing other teams' armor can be extremely effective in winning games. And I can't tell you how many times I've done it just from doing that. Especially on um, uh, No Shark Canals, if you spawn the U.S. side. It can be very, very extremely helpful to steal one of the Russian heavy tanks uh, to win that game. Because that map is extremely fucking unbalanced. It's probably the most unbalanced map for Conquest. Um, I'd say that in Scene Crossing. Uh, for both cases, the U.S. side just has an extreme disadvantage. Um, because... Like on canals, the Russians get two tanks, and two heavy tanks just fuck up little birds all day. I, I don't know, I constantly shoot little birds out of the sky with tanks, so that is one thing to keep in mind. And then you got scene crossing, where when you spawn on the American side, it can be a little bit more of a challenge because the Russians will have the higher ground. So you may want to steal some vehicles, and um, yeah, but definitely will greatly help you out and right here finish the rest of the game with this weapon right here the AN-94 which is fucking awesome and I haven't used this gun in a really long time but I ended up going a, 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 quite a nice little battle here trying to capture the B flag and this weapon right here is probably one of my favorite assault rifles and I really don't give it enough love that I should because, you know, usually I like to play on these bigger maps, and uh, playing Medic on these maps is not the smartest idea. You, you, engineer and support are king on these maps for sure. And one thing that's always good, like I love playing with Matt because that guy just stays with support, so I, I, I rarely got to worry about ammo and, and stuff like that when I'm playing uh, other classes. Oh, right there. Uh, I thought they mutualed right there, so I just went to go revive him, and I noticed he was there, and I got extremely lucky in taking him out. This guy's just slipping, trying to throw a grenade at me, so I just go back out and uh, rush him one time, though. Take this guy out. But this weapon right here is just extremely good, and uh, even to say it's, it's, it's almost overpowered. I'm surprised people don't... Don't use this gun that much, and uh, just in case you do not know, you want to use this gun with the two-round burst mode. You never want to put this gun in single shot or fully automatic fire because it greatly reduces its potential. 
Um, leaving this weapon in fully automatic fire only means that you will get 600 rounds per minute, which makes it one of the slowest shooting assault rifles, I think, besides the G3. And then the Scar L is just right above that with uh, 610 rounds per minute, I believe, which is uh, pretty much the same thing. Ain't going to notice too much of a difference there. So you're going to want to leave it in the two-round burst mode because you will get... 1200 rate of fire, which is the fastest rate of fire in the game. It out rate of fires the FAMAS and whatnot. But the trick is it is in a two round burst mode. So you're going to have to get a, you know, a rather quick trigger finger right there to uh, finish off your enemies in closer ranges, but it can still be effective. And you can get out a lot of bullets rather quickly with this gun if you got the trigger finger, which uh, doesn't actually require too fast of a trigger finger because it is a burst mode. You are letting. Two, two bullets out at once so um, this is two round burst in case you don't know it's not three but uh, this weapon right here is extremely accurate it's probably one of the best midi medium to long range assault rifles um, you know I, I, I don't know I, the like for ex the long, extreme long distance the SCAR L and the G3 might actually be better um, there's some other ones in there you know you got the L85 and uh, AK-74M and what uh, and also the AUG is extremely accurate at long ranges but uh, I find this one just to be a lot more consistent if you could get your shots on target um, and I'm rolling with it with a um, heavy barrel and a red dot and this gun right here is unique in the fact that when slapping a heavy barrel on it not only does it tighten up the spread it doesn't get the recoil penalty so in case you don't know, adding the heavy barrel does increase your vertical recoil slightly. So your gun's going to be kicking up and down a little bit more. But this weapon right here in the G3, uh, it does not do that. It does not get that penalty. So it's pretty much like you just get the, the all the benefits and, and none of the disadvantages except for the least accurate hip fire. But this isn't a gun for hip fire in any ways. I mean, it can work because... The burst kind of keeps the spread to a minimal, but uh, it's definitely not recommended for that. And more of a, a longer, medium range type of gun right here, but it's uh, it's definitely to my fancy, and I do quite enjoy it a lot. And I'm definitely going to start using it a little bit more. I haven't used this gun literally in a, probably a couple months. and Because, um, you know, like I said before, this this game has so many guns that you can't use them all <laughs> even if you play all the time you can't use them all regularly but you know I like to switch it up all the time so I'm constantly using different guns so this is one that I'm definitely gonna gonna give a little bit more attention to as it is uh, pretty damn sexy I must say but um, yeah games actually almost coming to the close right here Pretty tough game, actually. Um, I was on the ground for a, a lot of the part pretty much by myself. Max has been in the Jets recently, and I don't know why, because he does not like Jets. But he's been in the Jets recently, but he'll hop down eventually when I'm struggling and uh, come help me out to finish finish off and win the game, because that's what it's all about. Getting the W. So, yeah, I won a lot of games. Or I got a 50 three win loss ratio just for fun so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed uh haven't brought you guys a game on caspian board in a while or with the an94 so anyways guys final score 30 and the three i end up going on a 24 kill streak with the in there uh, with the tank and with the an94 so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed peace have a good one